So, you know why you're here? Because EAFC 24 or FIFA 24 has just came out on free trial, so you have 10 hours to play it until the final release. So, I'm going to show you two tricks on how to run it best on the Steam Decks and maximize your frame rates to get the best out of FIFA 24 or EAFC 24. It is worth noting that I'm running EAFC 24 on my Windows Steam Deck, so this is going to be Windows 11. Last time, FIFA did not work on Windows 11 because of the secure boot issues, but this time it works on Windows 11 just fine. I don't know if it works on the Steam Team OS because I believe it uses the same anti-cheat as last year. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so now here is FIFA 24 or EAFC 24 running on my Steam Deck. As you can see here, the game run really smoothly. Uh, so now I'm running the game on medium settings. Uh, for some reason, EA does not let you do the frame rate show, so you can't show the frame rate. I tried with the handheld companion. As you can see here, my handheld companion is running, and as you can see here, I have it to show the frame rates and the power usage but it does not work for EA because of anti-cheat reasons so the game is running now on medium settings as and I can tell you that the game is running at 60 frames per second there are no hiccups and the game runs really smooth on the Steam Deck but this has been done with two tricks before that the game was really unstable so I did two things to make the game stable and runs at 60 frames per second so I'm going to show you these two tricks and then we're going to test it at the high settings to see if the game runs well at all so here is my Steam Deck running Wind Deck OS on it and this trick will help me stabilize the frame rate of FIFA on my Steam Deck. So let's go to the file explorer first and then uh, wait for it to load, go to this PC, press on show more options if you're on Windows 11, on Windows 10 just go on properties, wait for it to load and then you need to go where it says advanced system settings, click on that and then this menu will appear so where it says performance here, uh, so go to advanced first and then go to performance then go to settings. Uh, you need to change that so you need to go to advance and then here you'll see virtual memory. So click on virtual memory and then you'll see this will be ticked on. So tick it off and then go to customize, tick that on and then here you need to write 10,000 in the first one and then 11,000 in the second one. This will increase the virtual memory of paging. Somehow this helps some games such as FIFA and it showed to help Starfield. So turn this on, press OK, press OK again and apply. Then it will ask you to restart your PC for the changes to appear. So restart your PC and then let's go to the next step. Alright, so let's go to the next step. You need to go to the recovery mode. So there is the button combination that you could use or you could use the settings. I like to do the settings because I don't like to restart my Steam Deck that way. So go to the settings uh, here in the system and then you need to go to where it says uh, up, uh, Windows Updates and then wait for it to load and then you need to go to Advanced Settings and then you need to uh, scroll down until you find Recovery. Click on Recovery and then you need to uh, click on uh, Advanced Startup. So click Restart Now. Click Restart now again and then the system will restart and I'm going to show you what to do next. Alright, so this step is very important for Windows. It's not as important on SteamOS, but on Windows you need to do this. So, now you need to go to where it says a Troubleshoot and then you need to go to Advanced Options and then you need to go where it says UEFI Firmware Settings. Click on that and wait for it to restart. Here we are in the boot menu settings. Now you need to go to setup and utility. Use the D-pad to navigate and click A to um, go to that. And then you need to scroll down where it says um, advanced. And then you need to scroll down again until it says UMA buffer size. Click on that and make sure it's on four gigabytes. After you click on that, make sure you uh, click save and exit. So go to the exit part here and then exit saving changes. Click on that and this will change your UMA buffer into four gigabytes. So now you already seen the game running at the medium settings. Let's go change the settings to the high settings and see how the game runs. So let's go to display configuration and go down. Uh, let's put the frame rate to no limit just to make sure the game is more smooth. So for medium, we're going to go to high on everything and see how the game runs. Apply it and then we're going to see how the game runs. So as you can see here, the game is running at now high settings, but you can feel that the game is not at 60 frames per second. I would say it's at 45 to 50 frames per second. It's smooth, but it's not as smooth as before. So it could handle the higher settings, but there's no use for them because the screen is small and you're not going to see a difference between the medium settings and the high settings. So let's go to the settings again, just to go over the settings I've done. As you can see here, to game settings again and to display configuration. And then let's see here, we have full screen, no limits on the frame rate. 
rates v-sync is turned on so we don't have any jittering in the screen dynamic resolution scale is turned off this is quite useless to be honest uh half frame rate for the cutscenes you can leave them at full frame rate it does not change a thing but i leave them at half frame rate just so i don't use more battery and here you have your strand based hair i turned this off because uh, there is no use for it it's only in the cutscenes and, and you really cannot see the hairs in the gameplay and here we're gonna move them back to medium settings because they were the best settings to run the game at 16 frames per second so this is FIFA running on the Steam Deck Windows 11 you can run it on the Windows 10 as well and that's it for me guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you like the channel subscribe and peace